Hello, Virgo. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. These are your energies for your sign in the next days or weeks to come or whenever it is that you click on that title that intrigues you. I've shuffled until something flew out and I'm ready to cut the deck. You are going through at the bottom of the deck uh, a temptation some kind of temptation, maybe to fall back into an old pattern that you felt you kicked, um, a person, some type of temptation. We'll, we'll try and find out what that is. Your crowning energies. Oh, wow. Virgo. True love. And victory. You want victory over this true love of yours victory over finding your true love connecting with your true love perhaps you already know them let's find out here you are manifesting your little cape off the number one manifesting this new beginning with some the one that you love aid of fire Eight of Wands can be in other decks about messages. But what it is in this deck is a guardian, a spirit picking you up, putting you on a guardian's back to take you up out of this maze that you've been in. And don't be a shyster now, Virgo, because you've got a fan in your hands. Don't be fanning the flames just because you're bored. Um, they're carrying you out of any confusion that you're in, confusion about love, confusion about a person, moving you to an understanding. You're stepping into the Empress's shoes, ready to give birth to something brand new. Or if you're a male watching this, you are watching someone you regard as an empress and see that she is ready to give birth to something brand new male female energies i forget that some of you are you know same sex so take it how is it, it resonates three of fire this is watching your ships come in and you get so excited about it you just jump in the boat and navigate it to dock you need to make a decision about something possibly between two people Two situations, two jobs, whatever it is, there is a decision that has to be made. You either make it or universe makes it for you and that's not quite as pleasant. Working through your energies here, communicating. Some This is at the heart of your reading, so you either are looking at someone in a light of passion someone you're very magnetically attracted to sexually uh, you see this person if you're a male Virgo you're seeing this person as someone who knows how to get things done someone who attracts people could be in the limelight could be a celebrity this person is often an entrepreneur or this is you, Virgo, taking on these energies, being seen as passionate, a go-getter, magnetic, you get things done. Four of water, there's an opportunity coming in and it doesn't look like you're going to miss it. You're studying it very carefully. You're asking yourself, is this pearl bigger than the other ones that I've been through, other cycles? Or is it just looking bigger because I've got it up close to my face and the others are floating away? It's all about perspective. Virgo, this is an opportunity you do not want to miss however you perceive it. Nine of air, this is you being up in your head, sleepless nights, way too, way too much up in your head, feeling that things are worse than they actually are, flapping your wings fanatically, trying to keep 
these thoughts at bay. And you're exhausted when it comes to love. You fought the good fight. You've laid down between the two pillars. And actually, they're not two pillars. They're actually 12. Two columns of six. Which is the number six. The six is a peaceful number. About peace. About balance. And 12 talks about the 12 thrones of God. The 12 apostles. The 12 zodiacs. So you've had quite a battle within, fought the good fight for love, done all you could, and you're just laying down exhausted saying, I'm letting go and letting God. The moon, this you could be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces is the ruler of the moon in tarot. The number 18, 8 and 1 is 9. Also has to do with wish fulfillment. The moon is about secrets, secrecy, hidden things. But they will come to light. There will be. Whatever was clouded will come to light. Either you're keeping secrets or they're keeping secrets. Not necessarily a Pisces, but have these energies. And it shows both the crescent and full moon. So it could be a new moon, full moon, that these things come to light. And it also talks about awakening. Becoming awakened. Maybe someone is aiding in your awakening process. So the crowning energies are wonderful, Virgo. But obviously you're in your head over a decision you need to make. And at the heart of the reading is this passionate person, a person you feel passionate about. Or perhaps you're the person taking on these passionate energies. And if you're not the Empress, you see someone as the Empress. Perhaps it's two people. A mother and a lover. Or a father and a lover. I do have a lot of male Virgo listeners. So uh, it's not really a surprise when these genders show up this way. What energies do we have for Virgo? And Virgo, I have set up my appointment book at the suggestion of many people because I got so flogged with personal readings in the month of June. So now I'm only taking like two at a time. So I set up an appointment book. It only took me five hours to figure out the darn thing, but it's set up over at the website. Everything's in the description. You can book a day that you have your personal reading. And I there's two price prices to choose from. A one-time reading or if you want a reading in your inbox every week for four weeks uh, you can choose that one of course there's a discount for that one um, also too if any of this ends up resonating any of these readings resonate for you and you feel like it's speaking to you uh, the cost of an extended reading which is only ten dollars gives you access to the members area for a month that gives you access to all of the zodiac signs extended readings and all of the afternoon delight extended readings as well and as an added bonus you can ask to personalize these readings that might resonate for you to personalize them more ask me a question under one of those extended readings any of those extended readings and i'll pull you a card no extra charge this is my way of thanking you for your support for your tremendous support i love you guys and uh, i am so grateful for you it is also a wonderful way of me to get to know to know you. I have a Facebook page now too, and I pull a card there every day. And if I find a nice post, I post it there. Uh, one of the other things about those extended readings, readings Virgo, I am going to put a, a series together in numerology, manifestation, 
things that are so simple uh, but can be can be done so easily to help manifest to help growth to help healing and they are in the extended readings i often talk about these things in the extended readings um, but i will at some point in my time management put a series together just for that purpose we have a card that flew out it's time to cut the wheel of fortune or the wheel of the year universe is moving things forward for you and in your favor it's giving you all of the gifts of money passion truth clarity and love moving your you're moving in through into your new cycle two of water so you could be trying to balance between two people or many tasks looking after many things multitasking trying to look after it perhaps you feel that you've neglected uh, your love because of all of these tasks or perhaps you feel like you're looking after your love just fine coming into balance with them six of fire victory you are awakening and look universe see the raven at the top of the tree that's the all-seeing eye the unblinking eye universe is saying look i've got a pentacle i'm trying to give you while you're awakening you are receiving a gift from spirit that is going to bring victory for you stability security balance the magician now this came out in reverse so i will read it reversed this is about possibly uh too too many people in your life heartbreak perhaps you were dealing with someone that had you in a three-party situation perhaps you're the one with the three-party situation and needed to make a choice between two people but this is heartbreak a feeling of betrayal something you manifested without even knowing so because it came out in reverse it it does signify that you're coming out of heartbreak eight of fire here is the emperor and right landing beside the empress so we have twin flame true love energy in the picture you're looking at this person say you're the emperor say we're the the male virgo um or male energy you're looking at this person and it's like they're from a different place different time he's wearing the armor and they're wearing clothes from modern day and he's trying to strategize and figure a way how can we merge our empires this can be very stubborn energy too or you could be dealing with an aries but there is some passionate messages coming through there is going to be passionate communication with this person the emperor sees the empress as someone who's about to give birth to something brand new it could be a liter a literal pregnancy you're about to become parents four of swords is about spiritual healing so the empress has withdrawn to have some one-on-one -on -one time with spirit and their health they're resting they're healing it's like she's looking for a place to lay that last sword down three of fire your ship's coming in when you make a decision there is an important decision that you need to make virgo but once you do make that decision then the ships come in whatever it is you're being indecisive about is blocking you blocking that fortune's wheel and by the way that fortune's wheel will move forward anyway whether you're blocking it or not it's just depending on you how smooth that's going to you know how when you are resisting when that wheel moves forward it's a jolt or it could go smoothly make a decision ask for healing do some healing work um you planted some seeds cultivated them weeded them watered them grew them 
and you're wondering if your harvest is ever going to come in. So maybe this decision you're making is, do I stay and wait or just move on? When this card comes out, spirit is saying to be patient. You are very close to harvest, to be patient. But you do have to make a decision whether to walk away or to work at it, to continue cultivating this. But a decision has to be made. Universe demands it. Queen of Fire, there is an ending to delays. You could feel that th this person of passion uh, had betrayed you, stabbed you in the back, killed the relationship. But more importantly, this card is about the worst being over, the delays being over. That might not be so nice for you, Virgo, if you're indecisive and not making this decision that you need to make. Delays are over, whether you're ready or not. Four of water. This opportunity coming in, don't miss it. This card always denotes the fact that when this four of water shows up, it talks about being bored, not interested. You just don't want to repeat another cycle. You are carefully studying it in this deck, but it is a gift from spirit. And you would be a fool to miss this opportunity because spirit is offering you a future of stability, a future of wealth, balance. Hmm. You're up in your head, maybe about this decision. Perhaps worried about money, wondering is this person that's keeping you up at night, is there a balance, an equal give and take? Can they bring as much to the table as I can? Or you're wondering, can I bring as much to the table as they can? Perhaps you're fighting some uh, self-esteem issues, feeling like you're, you may not be good enough for this person. It also shows that you are generous with children, if you have children. Perhaps you're up at night worried about children. Now this love. Wow. The strength card comes up. The figure eight, the infinity symbol, bringing heaven to earth, making things a reality, taming the beast within, finding the yin and yang. walking your talk having the strength to carry this through with this love the patience perhaps this harvest card and decision card has everything to do with you throwing in the towel or continuing to be patient and cultivating I love actually working at it. <clears throat> Inner conflict, definitely. Um, it could be this other person that has having inner conflict or outer conflict, but I think this is you. There are things that are still hidden, things that you don't know about, things that haven't been revealed yet. This is probably why you're up night, at night worried, up in your head. This conflict, inner and outer. This also shows family and friends that have, they have your well-being at heart. They love you. They're, these wands are in bloom. It's all about. Advice, opinions. But you need to ride your own dragon and rise above it, Virgo. Making up your own mind. Walking your own talk. Flying your own wings. And the dragon here that you ride is the red dragon. Ride it passionately. Ride it passionately, my friend. I'm going to take this over to the website now. I hope you join me over there, Virgo. God bless you. Please hit the like to help get the messages out and subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you soon, very soon. Bye for now.